If you want to visit Adana for the first time, we have compiled the important places to see for you. Museums, ancient cities, waterfalls, historical bazaars, and many more. We tried to answer your questions in this video, such as where to start visiting Adana, what should be included in a three-day Adana tour, where to go to visit Adana, we wish you a good time in advance. On the first day, we visit the center of Adana and the best place to start your Adana trip is the Central Park. Here, thanks to the warm climate, you will encounter hundreds of plant species and very successful landscaping that you will not see anywhere else, including tropical and subtropical climates. If you wish, you can do activities such as walking, running, cycling along the Sehan River, cross the river via suspension bridges, or enjoy the river by taking a gondola. Sujursi Mamet, one of the famous liver restaurants in Adana, is located right across the street from the park. If you want, you can start the day with liver as breakfast. Also, if you are wondering what to eat while traveling in Adana, you can watch our Adana food and restaurants video on our channel. At the end of the Central Park, you reach the Sabansi Central Mosque. Sabansi Central Mosque, one of the largest mosques in Turkey, is likened to the Taj Mahal as it is located on the edge of the Sehan River. In terms of its construction style, it is the sister of the Selamim Mosque, Sultanimate. She is known as his wife. When you continue south from Sabansi Central Mosque along the banks of the Sehan River, you will see that the green areas continue. These green areas continue one after the other under the names of Bayrak Park, Zubaid Hanim Park, Ulus Park, and the historical Adana houses lined up side by side in the back street of Zubaid Hanim Park. You will see what? Immediately on the right diagonal of Zubaid Park, you will see the mansion built by Sufi Pasha. It is of great importance for Adana as it is the mansion where Ataturk stayed with his wife Latif Hanim during his visit to Adana. If you want to visit the Adana Cinema Museum, which is right next to it after leaving the mansion, wax statues of Adana people who contributed to the cinema are exhibited. Who are these artists from Adana? Yilmaz Yune, Ali Sin, Shaner Sin, Orhan Kemal, Abidin Dino. After leaving the museum, we continue walking along the beach and when we think of places to visit in Adana, the first place that comes to mind is of course the historical stone bridge. The bridge, built by my favorite Roman emperor in 385, is one of the oldest bridges in the world that is still actively used. After taking wonderful pictures on the bridge, we come back and continue walking to the left. You can take a break in Ulus Park and watch the view of the stone bridge. After resting, Adana Historical Bidesan will greet you at the top of the park. The Bidesan consists of a covered bazaar and an arasta located within the Grand Mosque complex. The covered bazaar, which consists of small shops side by side, dates back to the 16th century. Today, Although it does not have a historical texture, it continues to live as a lively bazaar as the shops have been renewed. When you walk to the right side of the bazaar, you will see the mansion where the members of the Ramazanigla Principality, who ruled in Kukirova, lived. It is considered one of the oldest surviving houses in the world. Suleiman the Magnificent and Sultan IV. Murad was also hosted in this house during his Baghdad campaigns. Right next to the mansion, there is the Zia Pasha tomb and park. Famous writer, poet and statesman Zia Pasha spent the last two years of his life as the governor of Adana, and a mausoleum was built for Zia Pasha by the new Adana governor Abidin Pasha, who was appointed in his place in 1881. When you turn Zia Pasha Park behind you, right in front of you is the Grand Mosque and Social Complex. It is one of the most important buildings left behind by the Ramazano Galari which was a very important civilization in this region. You can visit the mosque, which was completed in 1541, as a structure that has preserved its historical texture and sent with its walls and architecture inside. Now you can raise your head and look at the sky and walk towards the historical large clock tower that you can see from every corner of the city. The construction of the 32-meter high grand clock tower started in 1881 and was completed in 1882. At the time the tower was built, it was the highest clock tower within the borders of the Ottoman Empire. If you dive into the side streets after passing the Grand Clock Tower, 
these streets are known as Kazansiler Bazaar. It is called Kazansiler Bazaar because cauldrons are actually produced. Even today, the bazaar, where many craftsmen have their shops, is a very suitable place to visit, buy souvenirs and take photos. If you go to the street where the bazaar in front of the Grand Clock Tower is located and continue straight ahead, the road will take you in front of Yag Mosque. The first construction of the mosque was actually a church, the Crusader Church, and it was converted into a mosque by Ramazanaglu Halil Bay in 1591. It was named Yag Mosque because there was once an oil market in front of it. We walk about 10 minutes from the oil mosque and go to Bibekli Church. You will find an Italian Catholic church built in 1880. The real name of the church is Saint although it is the Church of Saint Paul. It is called the Bibekli Church because the 2.5 meter Virgin Mary statue on its roof resembles a baby, and the church is only closed to visitors on Sundays. When we go to the more modern parts of the island, there are all kinds of cafes, restaurants and entertainment centers throughout Ataturk Park. Also, if you are on Gatsi Pasa Street, your address should be Kazim Buffet, famous for its banana milk. If you want to do shopping, there are plenty of luxury shops and cafes on Zia Pasa Street. In fact, if you want to have a drink or two in the evening, bars and pubs are always in these areas. There are places for entertainment in Zia Pasa Street and Turgut Ozil Boulevard, which stand out as nightlife in Adana. Second day I in Adana. Our first route is to visit the Adana Banana Greenhouse. We think you will enjoy your greenhouse tour to see the bananas grown in Adana and to learn what kind of care they are grown with. Then, we move away from Adana and go to historical places. Yulankail is located 8 kilometers away from the Sehan district center of Adana. Yulankail is the castle where the hero of the Samaran story, whose body is half a snake and half a woman, lives. The castle, which draws attention with its story, has become the center of attention of many tourists. It was built by the Cilician King Levan I during the Byzantine period. Local people also call this historical structure Samarin Castle. You can go with your private vehicle or you can also choose public transportation. After visiting here, we go to the nearby Anavarza ancient city. It is approximately 70 kilometers away from Adana city center. You can easily reach it via Aladag Kozen Road with your private vehicle. Anavarza ancient city is one of the historical places worth seeing in Adana. It is possible to see many historical ruins from the city of Anavarza, which was one of the most important trade centers of the region during the Roman period, to the present day. We end the day with these two historical places and the banana greenhouse. Third day I in Adana. For those who love nature and want to have a different travel experience, Kapakaya Canyon Valley Walk is an ideal option. You can have a picnic if you want. Kapakaya Canyon also hosts the Varda Bridge. This bridge is popularly known as the German Bridge. With its length of 200 meters and a height of 99 meters, the bridge is a complete engineering marvel. The two are very close to each other. If you have time, we recommend Kakit Valley, even though it is a little far away, it is a valley where the Taurus Mountains connect to Kukirova through a passage, about 10 kilometers east of the Adanapozanti Road passing through the Gilek Gorge. You can walk in this region and even take photos to share on your social media account. You can withdraw. If you will spend one more day in Adana, you can go to Aladag Cup Waterfall and Karpasbasi Waterfall. Aladag Cup Waterfall located 37 kilometers away from Aladag district and consisting of 10 waterfalls, has a peaceful atmosphere where the forests turn different colors in four seasons and the sounds of birds meet. Those who want to be alone with nature should definitely visit these waterfalls during their travels to Adana. Karpasbasi Waterfall Karpasbasi Waterfall, which fascinates those who see it with its fascinating appearance, is known as the second highest waterfall in the world. You can camp in these places, you can also watch our Adana Camping Areas video on our channel. I leave the link in the description section of this video. If you go to Adana on a hot day and like to swim in the sea, you can go to Karadas Beach and cool off instead of the waterfalls. Karadas Beach is approximately 50 kilometers away from Adana city center. You can reach it with your private vehicle via the D815 highway in approximately one hour. 
After you cool off, you can visit the ancient city of Megarsis in Karada's district. Megarsis ancient city is one of the important historical buildings that you must see. It is estimated that it was founded in the 7th century BC. The city, which was under the domination of the Greeks in its early periods, later came under the domination of the Persians, and then in 330, Alexander the Great defeated the Persian king and took the ancient city of Megarsis under his own domination. Yes, friends, we have come to the end of our three-day trip video in Adana. If there are places we missed or would like to add, you can write them in the comments section, and you can also support us by subscribing to our channel. We wish everyone a happy holiday.